Hey there guys, it's Basic Earth 3 through here with the last, possibly last, hopefully it's last, episode of the Dangun Ropa Trigger Happy Havoc Let's Play. Last way you left off, we're into the final investigation day, and we're starting off our recording session of the Day of Court. So here we go, the last and final fucking trial that we have ever had to endure, at least for this game, until we get to the second game. Alright! A lot of people keep questioning I, why, when I'm, when I, um, I don't know why, but a lot of people are questioning, like, if I'm going to do the second game, which is odd, because, like, I've stated multiple times that I will be doing the second game on both of my Twitter and on this Let's Play, so I'm not sure why people are still questioning whether or not I'm going to be doing it or not. Just to say it out there, yes, Danganronpa 2 Let's Play Blind will happen. I just don't know when it's going to happen. I know. One thing for sure I know is that it's not going to happen immediately after Danganronpa 1's finished because I want to take some time. This is how I do Let's Plays usually. I don't like to jump into it immediately. I like to take my time off of it and then like jump into the game once I feel like I'm perfectly ready to continue through the Let's Play. So, I guess I'm the first one this time. Makoto. You're early, Makoto. <coughs> Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah. For now, at least. I keep forgetting, Makoto's voice is a lot more higher pitched than before, so... But, where is everything else? Why aren't you here... Why aren't they here yet? However, Don't worry. I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like she said... <laughs> Byakuya! Byakuya? They arrived. One after another. But they were all in the same state of shock. Is this have to do with the picture? Hina? Hero? Silence. And it wasn't any normal science. Science. Yeah. Silence. It was the definite science. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I really got articulate more for my lip movements and my diction. Oh God. Yeah. I really need to work on my diction. Definitely. Ugh. Uh, silence and fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. Oh fuck my ball sacks. Uh. Oh right, I forgot dynamic compression. So if I like yell really loudly, then that's all gonna be muted. So I gotta be careful when I yell. Uh, so silent matches, so wonderful, so cool, so had my lungs in a blaze. Now listen, everything will be just fine if you leave it to me. My With my scissors, sword, scissors in hand, I'll stab and gouge the shit the master of evil. God, I sound like fucking... <laughs> What's her fucking name again? She's like referenced a lot during Who's Lies at Amazon's like, I never had sex with that woman. What, do you feel lucky, punk? Do you? But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boys. Oh shit, I'm an adorable little boy, aren't I? <laughs> if that's your master words, it can be boy, girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Where am I? Oh fuck, I forgot Toko's voice is still like... Despite it being kind of... I'm sorry, uh... Pardon my French here, mentally retarded. <laughs> um... Toko still has like a different diction than Genocide Joe. So it's like, where, where am I? Oh, she sounded like Emma Sky from the Far From Subtle Let's Plays. Uh, no human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Is everyone here? Oh, and wearing our gloomy Gus faces, I see. Okay, well then. Let's begin. Chills, chills, this final class trial is... <coughs> sorry. <laughs> this final class trial is gonna be slathered in pitch black despair. Climaximum sorrow. That's fine. You're right. This is the final class trial. And this time, it'll be fair. What do you mean this time? Stop with all the slander. I'm a bearing good standing, you know? If there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm gonna win this game fair and square. And I'll make sure everyone watching at home knows. 
That despair is mightier than the hope. Yeah, how? <laughs> okay, I'll be okay. Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. <laughs> sure, sure, let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below! So don't try and run away. <laughs> God, it's... Uh, I need water every time I try to voice Monokuma. Thank God I won't have to do it for the class job because everything is voiced for some reason and not every single other cutscene. Laughing as loud as ever, Monokuma disappeared. Whatever. In the name of my family. This will be over in no time. With an inexplicable confidence, Byakuya was the first into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. Oh, what the fuck? Why are you mad at me, dude? That's here. Why are you scared of me? It, Toko, you're not even fucking aware! It was Genocide Jill that- Okay, whatever. Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. Hey. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid. Suspicious of each other. Of each other. However. But you know why that is, don't you? Y yeah. I think so. However. Well, you can tell us all about it soon. At the class trial. So, if they're seeing the same picture that I'm seeing where I'm, for some reason, was not present during the class picture or whatever it is, then they're definitely just blaming suspicion on me. But the fact that Kyoko worded specifically that they're nervous about each other and everyone else, not just myself, that leads me to explain that they're nervous as to what everyone else is thinking. You're right. I'm ready. So... Ready to win. Yeah, win. Yeah, ready to win. Right. I really need to work my diction. Jesus Christ. Ah, all right. Of course. <laughs> Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Wow, I got that correctly, and yet I still need to work on my diction. Yeah. Maybe I need a harder tongue twister or something. Work on my alliteration properly. And then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. Fuck, I forgot to put the time watch. <laughs> wow, I am very slow on things. I just realized that uh, because I don't have my phone with me right now, then I'm going to have to require my laptop in order to use a stopwatch. I should really, I should really remind myself, like, every single fucking Let's Play, use a goddamn stopwatch. Basically, 313 slash Aaron Bo, you are about to be shaming yourself for forgetting... Constantly. Alright, let's just add five minutes just just in case. Alright, let's go. I started making my own way towards the opening. Step after step towards that gaping maw. I'd resolve this this I resolved that this would be the last time. I repeat to myself that there was no fear. No mystery left. I pushed that anxiety down, called my trembling body, and finally on steady legs. I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. Everyone- Wait a minute, is Yasuhiro's Hero's PNG file- Oh, wow! I'm noticing everyone's PNG file is having a little bit of a white speck there. Thanks a lot, developers. You've pretty much glimpsed over a very obvious- how the hell did I only recognize that now? Is it just for this cutscene, or did it happen like in every cutscene? Byakuya is probably the most, like, invisible out of everyone else, but it seems like everyone else has, like, that weird white spot on their PNG avatar files or something. Uh, deeper, 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 deeper. Yes, Makoto, stop thinking about sex. Deeper it fell. God damn, Makoto, shut up. I know this might be your last time possibly alive, but there is no time for getting a boner right now. All sound too disappeared. Especially when in a life or death situation. <clears throat> Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later? I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to the end. I slowly opened my eyes. Whoa, this looks different. This is the final trial site? What do you think? It isn't just a perfect background for deciding a person's fate. It's a long-awaited last stage. The always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> Boo-hoo! And I'm gonna sit here for this one. I'll just sit right here on the vacant 16th seat. 
Well then, let's begin! Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that's safe. <laughs> Why not? Uh, last save file of the day? Here we go. Saving complete. Let's finish out this class trial. Oh, right, we should probably set our stuff beforehand. Uh, we're using 18 or Okay, yeah, we're using 18 already. What do we... Wait a minute, we didn't... We didn't talk to anyone during beforehand because we were in the trash chute, so we couldn't... Okay, so everything else here should be the same, so we shouldn't really worry about too much. Just in case, let's look at the truth bullets to review ourselves what's going on. So, due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They also... They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with the other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Okay. So... This is Mokuma's file dictating the quote-unquote dead body of our 16th student. Uh... Okay, so I'm not sure if this is, has anything to do with evidence or anything. This seems more like a duty note, if anything, but okay, whatever. So, it seems to relate to the Mokuro. Okay, so the Garden of the Dojo. We didn't really check those two areas that often, though. The Garden of the Dojo seems kind of unrelated, aside from the fact that that's where Mokuro was dead. Aside from that, the bio lab, Monokuma's door, everything, that seems to, like, indicate what's going on and the mysteries that we're trying to solve. Seems like very little information or to how we we're able to solve every single little bit of mystery that's going on in the school. But, whatever the case is, I feel like it's going to be very much clear once we beat the game. Monokuma control room, we already know this. How <laughs> we pretty much controlled Monokuma using her donuts shenanigans. Uh, the tarp, which for some reason we didn't examine until now, was from the biolab. So the one that was covering the body of Mokuro was from the biolab, that tarp. Mokuro's profile, she's... Okay, so yeah, from what I remember, her physical attributes matches the corpse, yeah, matches the corpse characteristics. The vitals, weight, and... Hey, Jesus Christ, she's 97 pounds? You skinny motherfucker. Uh, in addition, her phys... Okay. Uh, Headmaster Bokuro did not have a single scar or wound when she came Hope to Hope Speak Academy. So, this, this, whatever this is, where she was covered in wounds. So, she is dead, but her wounds definitely occurred as soon or like what, whatever time after she arrived in the school. Several days old, okay. So, they were not, yeah, they were several days old, not like weeks old or like months old or years old or whatever they had nothing to do with her being a soldier or whatever this happened in the school whatever happened under to her scars hidden room present that's presumably last remains of the headmaster okay there were brightly colored box sitting in the headmaster's hidden room inside the box were human bones the last remains of the headmaster according to kyoko this is her father so there's that photo Okay, <laughs> Kyoko and Handmaster. The Handmaster is Kyoko's father. I got that. Handmaster's ebook. An emergency handbook was found in the Handmaster's hidden room. This handy book apparently has no restriction and was given to the school's ultimate authority, the Handmaster. Okay, which is dead now. <laughs> so there's that. Whoever's controlling Monokuma right now is not the Handmaster because the Handmaster's dead. So this has to be a completely different third party. Or someone that's related to the case and wants some sort of ulterior motive. Locker notice. We have Yasuhiro, Yasuhiro's locker. Not sure exactly why, but like somehow this has to do with whatever. Locker pocketbook. This is Kyoko's. Yeah, this is Kyoko's. Lab secrets. The bio lab on the fifth floor seems to have been, Okay, repurposed as a morgue. Cool. That's useful information, I guess. Corpse switch has been installed to the bio lab. It seems to be light blue when it comes to in in indicate a slot that's occupied. Okay. Makuro's body inside comes a total of nine. Okay. Counting the blue lights. The number of blue lights counting the slots with Makuro's body inside comes at a total of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven bodies. That makes no sense, though. Because, like... 
there's only six people alive right now. There's Yasuhiro, there's Aoi, Toko, me, Kyoko, and Byakuya. That's six people. So how is it that there's still seven bodies still occupied and nine plus seven totals into 16? That doesn't make any sense because whoever's body is still not so... At first, this leads me to believe that Murkuro is still alive, but it's practically confirmed that Murkuro is dead. And her body, her character descriptions, unless somehow she has the exact same body body size as some other other dead people, which I doubt. Because, like, looking at her profile right now... Where is she right now? She has a small chest, which I don't think anyone... Well, actually, no, technically... <laughs> if we want to count her as a girl, but uh, technically that's a dude. Uh, but even so... Uh, I didn't remember. Actually, hold on. Can we still, uh, not presents. Can we check, like, the measurements of every single student? Yeah, no, no, there's, that's impossible. Junko looks like she has big tits, so I can't be it, too. Wait a minute. Is that really your bus size? 5'7", 97 pounds, 31 inches. Wait a fucking minute. Let me look at her measurements again. Five foot seven, ninety-seven pounds, thirty-one. Interesting. So she has the exact same. Hmm. Actually, no. So this might not be your. <laughs> I highly doubt that the report card indicates her bus size. But at the same time, if I were to believe that Junko is. Mukuro. No, that is her chest size. 31 inches. What the fuck? That's 31 inches? Oh yeah, she said it was Photoshop, so... Granted, that could also mean that her bust size is actually smaller than anticipated, and... Okay. Celeste. Okay. Suck. <laughs> I doubt that, but... <laughs> uh, Toko's still alive. Oh, we still... Actually, no, I can't... Out of curiosity. Okay. Five foot seven. I should know. I should remember it's five foot seven because that's the exact same size as me. Sayaka, five foot five. <laughs> yeah, so here I might as well check out the guys too because why the fuck not? He fooled me. There's no way. Well, I mean, we, he's got the five foot seven part, the pounds and the chest. I well, he has bigger tits than Mercuru and oh wow. Okay. Uh. Okay. So yeah, that is some interesting new information there. Looking at Junko's body measurements, somehow matching up with Murkuro's size. That is interesting. So, it's possible that Murkuro is still alive, and the dead body that's measured with Murkuro Ikusaba's profile, and it just so happens that Murkuro has the exact same measurements as Junko. What the fuck? That is just a huge mindfuck. So either that dead body was actually Junko's dead body, which will actually make sense too, because like according to like what her dead body during her hair looks like, she it was blonde, and there's like a little bit of pink in there too. I'm not sure where the dreads come from, but I don't know. Manukuma could have just easily altered that to make it look like dreads. And looking at Junko's hairstyle, oh she doesn't have color, but from what I remember, Junko did have blonde hair and a little bit of pink in her. Which matches the description of Mokuro Ikusaba's dead body, or dead corpse, quote-unquote, when we found it during the last trial. Okay, so that's my theory right now. That dead body is actually Junko. If I'm wrong, then, well, the game devil is fucked up, because that is clearly, like, they give so much hint that that's Junko, and yet they're not gonna do anything with it? That can't be it. That has to be Junko. I'm dead set on that being Junko's dead body. Okay. Uh, good photo. This one, it's everything all together somehow. No, there's no way. There's got to be like some sort of conspiracy. Maybe everyone else saw their photo, and, but they didn't see themselves. That has to be it too. Come on. All right. Genocide Jack's memory. All right. It would seem that while Toko and Genocide Jack share a certain fundamental knowledge, their individual memories are separate. Okay, so yeah, Toko has no memory, or maybe Genocide. Choko maybe not, might actually already know about the, oh, excuse me, about the photo. What she doesn't know is the 
after what have what happens after she fainted when she saw the dead body in the morgue. Uh, okay, so there's that. And just that Jack has no memory of I'm guessing the photo. I don't know. That that doesn't seem like really convincing because we didn't really see Genocide Jack or Toko at all come out of the uh, absor uh, come out of the gym class. So that area is a little bit iffy. But I'm just going to assume for this case of how Toko was acting that she did know about the photo. Kyoko's account. Kiko attests that both the stab wound and the blow to the head were inflicted after death to the dead body? So... She died a while ago then. And... Huh. So they were just basically playing with Junko's dead body, essentially. Kiko found a container interview between the headmaster and all the Makoto's peaks student. Makoto, however, had no memory of such an interview. Thanks to Monokuma's interference, Makoto wasn't able to watch the DVD all the way through. Okay. So, from what I remember the interview DVD, it just showcases everyone saying yes to being trapped in this cell forever, and everyone else not having any memories of it somehow, including Kyoko. Including the ones that are dead, including the ones that are still alive, everyone. I'm not sure about Makuru Ikusaba though, actually, now that I think about it. I'm not, I don't remember if we saw her face at all in uh, the interview, but... Uh, if I don't remember it, then chances are she probably didn't appear in it, but that seems like it's a very important key detail. I'm not sure, though. Uh, okay, I think that's everything we got. So... With that, we'll be right back with the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned.